Arm dead. Oh wait, the arm is still there. Look, the ar the arm stays on the ground. <laughs> I want to take it as my trophy. I'm gonna mount it on my wall. Oh no, never mind. I'm just gonna fall through it. What is going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with us today. Play some more Ark Survival Evolved, and we have a video for you today of Titanic Proportions. <laughs> I promise you the jokes get better. Welcome to the channel, and thank you so much for coming to hang out with us today. We are going to be going over uh, the official and most effective strategy for taming the Forest Titan. Now, I've seen a lot of videos out there talking about some of the things that the Forest Titan can do, but not any really good instructional videos of how you can tame one for yourself. And that's what we're going to be doing today. And we're going to be talking about a couple of different things. But before we get into our science evolved, I'd like to welcome you to the channel again and say thank you so much for coming to hang out. I am Nick. This is Nerd Parade. Without further ado, let's do this. Now, what I've got here in my hands are two different types of guns. The uh, assault rifle and the fabricated sniper rifle. What I'm using now is a primitive rifle. And we're going to tank on him just really quickly. Oh, I'm too far away. That's actually, I'm glad that popped up. That's a thing. There's a proximity rate, uh, range on the Titan. So you can't be too far away. All right, we're pinking him in the tree nuts for 34 damage. What I'm going to do is swap over to this gun, which is a 755% fabricated sniper rifle. The highest you can get, 261. As you can see, the damage is different. Now... If this is the first time you're joining us for a Nerd Parade video, and you're not familiar with the server, uh, on our servers, the way that you can get this is through the Upgrade Station mod. We have the very friendly mod that allows you to upgrade your blueprints um, to epic proportions. So we have the lowest tier of weapon and the highest tier of weapon to show you the difference. As soon as this clears up, I'm going to try to shoot him in his corrupted node so we can see the damage numbers on that. Now, we're still using the super high tier one. Okay, I hit it. Oh, you can kind of see it. I'll do it again for a second because the... The root was blocking it. But I did hit the Corrupted Node. You can tell the difference between the purple marker and the red marker. There we go. One. You see that? That's with a 755% fabricated sniper rifle. We're going to switch over to the primitive, but I'll give you a spoiler. You could probably guess what you're going to see with it. A one. We're going to swap over to our assault rifles. We're going to try the primitive first. And I already know what this is going to do, but... Okay, we tapped it a couple of times. You see one, one, and nine. Nine was a body hit. One was the Corrupted Node hit. This is same thing, 755. Hit it once. Body hits, 74. All right, now that we've shown that off, that was one thing that I wanted to show you, and that is the way not to tame this guy. What you are going to need to do to tame this guy, the best and most official way to do it, is exactly what we're doing here right now. Be completely naked. That's right, that's all you need are your fists. You're fighting Fists of Fury. We're going to drop all this stuff off, get back in that vault there. You need literally nothing to tame this guy. Except for time and some friends, it'll make it go a lot faster. You're going to death run this. You're going to death run the absolute crap out of this guy. And you're going to use nothing but the wyverns that spawn. And we're going to show you how to do it here in this video now. Let me find a wyvern or get myself killed so I can start with a fresh health and a death run. Well, we're very hurt, but we did get a wyvern. So these wyverns spawn in the arena here with the boss. I would not suggest bringing any other dinos with you into this arena. We tried. Uh, it didn't go well. If you dismount from a dino, there's a very high probability, and I'm talking like a 80 to 90% probability that that dino will despawn. It happened to three of our dinos that we brought in. We brought in three, and three dinos despawned. So I would say don't bring your dinos in. Put some beds at the edge of the arena and naked run this. Grab the wyverns. They, ha they have a little meter that you can see right above your hotbar. It's your... They have infinite stamina, so you're, you're not going to have to worry about stamming out. That's your shots. Your wyvern breasts. Run in naked. Grab these guys. Blast your flames at his, at his corruption nodes. And it's going to take you around 45 to 50 minutes with 5 to 6 people. That's, the, that's what you're looking at. Now, there's a couple of good things about these fire wyverns. Like I mentioned earlier, they have zero stamina depletion when battling with them. And they can kill your tribe mates unless they're on the back of another one. So when you're up there actually battling, there's no fear of blasting another tribe mate off of the back of one. And even if you do, you're naked death running this anyway. So you 
you literally lose nothing. Just keep trying to blast the corrupted nodes until you blast his arms off. And I think I just crashed. Oh, no, I didn't! <laughs> We're gonna grab this guy and go in for another pass. Literally waste none of your resources battling this guy. This is the easiest method. You are gonna do some damage to him, but the damage that the fire wyverns do versus the damage on a corruption nodes or anything like that, it's not gonna bring him out of alpha status. And those are the three statuses that you have to worry about. Alpha, beta, gamma. That's the tier, and the, the quality or tier in which you tame the titan. So the damage that the Fire Wyverns are going to do versus, like, actually killing him, it's not really going to bring him out of alpha status unless you just get really, really bad uh, or unlucky with it and do more damage to him than you necessarily need to or just spend a lot of time blasting him with other things or people come in and try to ruin your tame. All right, my guy's out, so I can just hop off of him. I'll just let him kill me because we're just death zerging him. As we continue to work on this guy, we're going to talk a little bit more about the mechanics. Now, usually you'll have about five or six blasts with the Fire Wyvern before he stands out, which, again, there's no stamina meter. It's just the blast meter that's going down right above my hotbar there. There is something that you want to avoid doing at all costs. If you get to the point where you bait this guy too far out and he resets, he says he's going back to the center the damage on his corruption resets, meaning you've just reset the boss and you start over from scratch. It's just going to make it take longer. It's if, if you're doing this method, it's not going to be anything that's a, a colossal devastating setback. It's just going to make the whole boss encounter take longer. This is not in any way, shape, or form a solo tame strategy or method because you have to make sure that the boss doesn't reset. And if you're death zerging like this with the wyverns, chances are high that you will end up baiting him out and then causing him to go back to the center. A message will display going back to the center of the arena and it will cause him to reset. So doing that, doing the solo, I'd say is either extraordinarily difficult or impossible to achieve at this time. So you are going to need to bring your tribe or some friends to this a little encounter. Oh, did one disappear or just me? I got one. Yeah, you got one. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's one armed now. Look at him. Look at him go. It's working. <laughs> Our progress. Our death. Oh, wait. The arm is still there. Look. The, ar the arm stays on the ground. <laughs> I want to take it as my trophy. I'm going to mount it on my wall. Oh, nope. Never mind. I'm just going to fall through it. Pick him up. Whack him with it. Yeah, I'm gonna pick him up and wag him with his own arm. Stop it yourself. I can, yeah, <laughs> I can totally lift that. It'll be fine. I'm not gonna die to the poisonous trees or anything. Ignore that. What's funny is as I'm running towards him, like his arm kind of like glitches like in and out of existence. Really. Like, he's yeah, supposed to that. not have an arm still, but he does. Oh! <laughs> I didn't make it to the Drake. Oh! Oh, you guys got it! Yep. You guys got it! Oh, I'm coming back in! It's an alpha! Name a tree beard. <laughs> name it Tree Bear. <laughs> tree Bear is the perfect name for a tree guy. <laughs> and there you have it, Nerd Paraders. The Forest Titan is now in our possession. Uh, the tame was a little, it was a little long. This isn't necessarily a test of how strong your tribe is. This is a test of how much time are you willing to invest into this taming. The process for us took around 55 minutes. There was six of us going at it with the wyverns. About four wyverns tend to spawn at any given time. And it becomes a race between you and your tribe members to see who could get a who could get a wyvern first. But there is no expenditure. The easiest way to tame him, you're not using any resources, you're just death running it. And it's the most official and the most cost-effective way to tame a forest titan. Now, one thing that was brought up between the tribe and while we're recording is does this run the risk of something getting removed from the game or patched out and 
I don't think it could necessarily be considered a glitch or anything of that na nature. I think it's a like clever use of the game mechanics because they do provide you with all the tools that you need to tame this forest titan right here in the encounter. What I could see potentially happening from uh, the what the arc devs is that they would add a respawn timer to the tree, uh, to the tree, to the forest titan, or all of the titans, much like that that is given to you when uh, you die from explosives or in PvP. You get a respawn timer, therefore the the death zerg may not be that much of a thing because you do want to make sure that you don't get that returning to center message because that does seem to reset the damage that you've done. Now we did get the return to center message when we were battling this guy and it was after his arm had fallen off. His arm did regrow, but the corruption node was no longer there. So we're I'm calling that a win. Like I think after you've gotten at least one arm down, you can get the return to center message without too terribly much fear but that is a big way to troll on other servers is to cause the titan to reset it's a way to troll other people who are taming it is to try to force the titan to reset because it does reset the uh the damage to the corruption ball that that i've noticed here but i hope you guys liked this video i hope it was very informative and helpful to you and aids you on your quest in taming your own forest titan that is going to do it for us today guys but if you did like this video and if it was helpful please be sure to smash that thumbs up button for us oh that glorious thumbs up button if you haven't done so yet be sure to subscribe to the page for some more nerd parade videos just like this one and most importantly of all guys remember to take care of yourselves out there and stay awesome we'll catch you in the next one later